Right, folks, we're up and running. Everyone there? All good? Yeah, right, everyone. Yeah. So, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do this in two parts with you. We're going to learn. It's going to take a few weeks to do this. Yeah. But I've done it before. No, you haven't done this ever before, I don't think. So, we're going to learn about how to create 3D models. Okay. Now, it might seem quite complicated. Normally, they teach... What's that? You might fall over. Um, I shouldn't fall over, <laughs> but you might fall over. Out, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, let's show you what we mean by the gallery, right? Here's a gallery of 3D models. Kinds of, this is only my 3D, right? You see them on cartoons, you see them on things like uh, all sorts of stuff. You see them on, oh God, advert, TV, video, animation, you see them in computer games. They're going to kind of. Have I? No, on the table. Uh, yes, you can add hair. You can add issue. You can add hair as well, indeed. Let's look at some of these objects. Some of them are quite interesting. Let's look at some of the nicer ones. Look <laughs> at some really scary things there, actually. Oh my word. Uh, let's look at one of the nicer ones. I'd see a nice one down here. Oh my god, this one. There you go. Simple one. There you go. So simple object like this. Yeah. It's made out of like. Think of it. Imagine it's being made out of clay. Right. You ever worked with clay before? No. Uh, well, with clay, I mean, clay you can get from any kind of modeling shop. Clay you can get in different colors. So yeah. if you get clay in colors, or you get clay in plain color, like white, and then you can paint it with acrylic paint. Okay, oh, and that's yeah. how you can make these objects. And then they're kind of made to go, go hard over time, and that's how they, they stay in their shape. And then you use your thumbs, right, and your hands to, to bend clay and shape it. So that's kind of an example of a model. Let's look at some other ones. These are a bit funny, some of these. Some of them are actually quite advanced. No, so like this is like someone's face there, right? Yeah. Okay, you can see the way the eyes and the nose and the mouth are made and the ears. Yeah, one like that. Then you've got things that are like, look at this one here. It's like a tree coming out of the earth thing there. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, so you get this object like this. Yeah, some are a bit Star Trek indeed. Look at this one here. This is a face again here. It's very well sculpted. Okay, you see that? They will be made using this software we're going to learn. Look at this. Look at this one. <laughs> That's like a frog or a germ, isn't there, or something from under under the sink? Uh, you. <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> it's always me. Yeah, it's always. <laughs> it's like a blue monster thing. Monsters. Oh my word. Yeah, don't be scared by any of these. Let's get another one. Robot. See how it's like silvery? Like Robot Wars. Yeah, like Robot Wars. Oh, yeah, like Robot Wars, indeed. Let's find another example, a different kind of shape here. It's quite interesting. It's like you've got these animals there. It's like an animal. Look at that. It's like a horse. Different kind of shape there, isn't it? So, using this um, software, what we do is we, I'll talk you through it. Let's start from the very beginning. You get an empty scene, and when you first start it off, you'll go to a web page, and it's called Sculpt GL. You find it from the very beginning. So, Cheryl Terry and Nasrin here, Sculpt GL. Okay, so you're gonna know. So, so, so learners, watch. Support team are gonna first do this themselves. You're just watching, okay, folks? You're just gonna watch from the only first. Terry, I'm not sure if you can do this um, yourself. Yeah. Maybe you can do it in Paul's machine. Yeah, yeah? with Paul. For now, Sculpt GL. Sculpt GL will take you to this website, and there you go. <coughs> Got that? Sculpt <coughs> GL. Yes. The very first thing. Oh, wow. Top link, yeah, top link. You're in. You should get a big, massive clay yeah. sphere on the screen. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said you're just going to watch. Okay, no, I want, I want the support team to do this for me first, right? Okay. Terry, if you can just do it yourself with on Paul's machine, that would be great. Maybe if you and Paul can. Go to Google. To Chrome, yeah. Sculpt GL, and you're in. I've got instructions, folks, by the way. You are going to get this afterwards, right? How to get there and we've got some steps, right? Otherwise, so just open the other tab. Um, mm -hmm. 
Good, right, great. You, you, are you there too, Astrid? Give it a few seconds, let it load up. If it's not coming up, I need to carry on. Maybe it's just your browser or something. I would use Chrome if I were you also, Astrid, but not use Edge. So yeah, bear, bear that in mind. Chrome is better. There it is. Okay, so a few things about maths, folks, <coughs> for you all. Have you, in terms of maths, are you familiar with the idea of X, Y, and Z? Have you heard that before? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think what, what, what's X, Y, and Z? Uh, what does that mean? That's uh, X, L. Look, look on the screen over there. Let me show you what X, Y, and Z are so you will understand this, okay? okay. So, uh, yeah, we have clock. Right. See this here? That's the clock. So that's like a clock. It's like a clock. It's like a clock. X, okay? Think about this, right? Yeah. <coughs> X is like a, a direction. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so X is like left and right. Um, yeah, yeah. Along the horizon. Yes. Anthony? Yeah. Right. Hey. Right. Uh, Benjamin? Yeah. We do. Look at me, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you've got X. It's really important to understand this, so you're not going to make anything. Okay. X is going left to right. Okay. Like that, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Right. like that. Yeah. Why? Yeah. What's Y then? If X is left to right. I'll tell you that. What's Y? Where? Yeah. Right. X is like that, that direction. We call X this way. What's Y? Can't remember. What, are the, what are the directions are there? Just think about directions. If I've got any object, just think about 3D. Give me something you want on to. It's like a pencil case, right? What does that look like to you? What shape is that? Uh, yeah. 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 Square. Yeah. Square. Yeah. Square. Yeah. Round. Yeah. Okay, it's round. It's round that way, isn't it? And it's yeah, square that way, isn't it? So I want to go by all that. This is called a cylinder. Cylinder. What does that mean? Right. So this cylinder is like this. We've got a round bit, a bit like that. Okay, yeah. So when I say X, I mean there to there. It's like X distance. Up and down is Y. Yeah? yeah. So I've got there to there, which is one direction. I've got Y, which is like up and down. Then I've got Z direction. What's Z do you think? What's missing? Um, uh, yeah, I think it's circling. Yeah. I've got X, Y. It's right. your phone. Yeah, and it's also, yeah, you need to put it on silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, find out just say the right word for it, I'll give it to you. It's a paper type. Yeah, Z is the depth. Okay, so you know, if you're looking for the first time, so this is how deep something is. Yeah, let's try again. Another object. See this object here? Yeah? Oh, yeah. We've got X is that long. Why is that? And what's that going to be? This, the depth. How thick something is, right? How deep is something? So X, Y, and Z. Oh, yeah. now, when we've got a sphere like this, you're seeing it on the computer screen, but if I had a ball of clay in my hand, you'd have it, you know, the kind of how wide it is, how tall it is, and how deep it is. Okay? Even a square cube, you know, the same thing. How wide it is, how deep it is, and how thick it is. Oh. Right, that's what I mean. So we're working with, with this, okay, these objects here. Yeah. Um, it's all about knowing those different oh. perspectives. So what you're now going to what you're going to learn now is how the mouse can control. Oops, I shouldn't touch the screen there. How the mouse can control what you see. So that the mouse that I'm using here, what I can do with the mouse is if I hold down the right mouse button, I can turn things like that. So LSW, if you can watch please. Right mouse button, I can turn it. Yeah, good. Great. Left mouse button, if I touch my left mouse button on the surface, I can draw on it. Like that. Yeah? I'm now drawing on the object by hand. Okay? So you're building up layers. Putting up layers of clay, I like that. And right mouse button, I can see how much what how deep I've done it. Yeah? Okay, like this. Left is to draw, and right turns my camera around, okay? So, the other thing is, the, the mouse wheel, up and down, I go in and out. 
Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I, I can draw, make a little shape like this, like that, and I also can turn my mouse around. So it's like you've got to remember the right mouse button turns the camera, the wheel in and out. Okay. Does it have to be symmetrical? Mine it doesn't have to be. No, we can turn that off in a minute. There's actually a way I can turn that off. It's mirroring. Okay. So we can. But for now, the first step I want you to do is just to work with those three controls. Okay. Turn the mouse right as the camera turn. Mouse in and out is a middle mouse wheel. Can you all do that, LSWs? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And left is the drawing or adding of clay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make a very simple shape. What I'd like you to do is just simply make your first model, everybody. Okay. Um, the more the more you zoom in, by the way, the more you zoom in, the more control you have over something. Yeah. The more closer oh, wow. you are to it. See this? Like that. Nice. Right. And if I zoom out, it's much bigger what I'm doing. Some people didn't come today. So how do you zoom in and out? Uh, middle mouse wheel. Can you try that, please, Astrid? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Right, folks. So off I you go. Let you know. I want to make a very simple, quick model, right? Just like what I'm doing now, just like just an extra. Yeah. Just, just, just playing along with this, right? I'm going to do this. I'm going to work with a large thing first. It's a big worm, actually. <laughs> I'm using, using one tool here, just making a long, big worm thing. That you in the morning. Then That's then. me in the morning. Yes, Ian. <laughs> well, is that you first in the morning? Apparently. And uh, <clears throat> and now I'm going to just, as I go closer to it, I can get more control over the shape. See that? It's making a bit of a blob, really. What I've done. That's it. I can turn around. I can turn around and do this sort of thing with it. Okay. So I like you to do, folks. Just spend some time now modelling. An object and just playing with the clay so you can control this here okay so I'm gonna stop that there okay 